Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Friedman. I'm the Dean for Therapeutic Discovery at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And I'm delighted to tell you about our exciting collaboration with Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The purpose of this relationship is to really leverage the expertise that is complementary between the two institutions. We are reliant on RPI for their horsepower, if you will, in trying to develop these technologies, accelerating their commercialization, and getting them to our patients faster. The affiliation of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai fosters educational and research collaborations and stimulates the development of new technologies that will radically improve the diagnosis and treatment of human disease, leading to better patient outcomes. Each institution brings unique strengths to this relationship. Mount Sinai is a leader in biomedical and clinical research and patient care, and Rensselaer excels in engineering and cognitive, computational, and data sciences. The affiliation is benefiting students who are interested in pursuing a career in the health and life sciences, faculty at both organizations who are working across disciplines to solve today's health challenges, and the communities each institution serves by accelerating the pace of innovation and new technologies to prevent, diagnose, and treat a broad range of conditions. Hello, my name is Matthew Evans. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. I am a recipient of a seed grant in collaboration with Peter Tessier, who is an associate professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at RPI. My lab studies the hepatitis C virus, which is the leading cause of liver disease and cancer in the Western Hemisphere. The Tessier lab studies antibodies and how they can be reprogrammed to bind specific targets. The goal of our collaborative project is to design inhibitors that would prevent hepatitis C virus from infecting cells. Hopefully we'll develop actual inhibitors that could be used therapeutically to prevent or even treat ongoing HCV infection. Furthermore, the information we'll derive in our studies will be useful for developing vaccines that would protect people from infection with this virus. This has really been a tremendous experience for both our labs. The Tessier lab and mine come from very different worlds where we speak very different languages, but when we're brought together, we can combine our different expertises to synergize and allow us to do things that would have been impossible otherwise.